Hi, guys. Oh, what a day I had today. You know, I told you I was walking every hour, and I walk on the golf course. Not on it, but, you know, on the right. You know where they ride, ride the golf carts? And I just couldn't get over what I saw. You know, I thought I didn't realize that golfing was a necessity. It sure was. I didn't know that. I thought the golf course was closed. But guess what? There were people out there. Oh, man, look what I did. I'm trying to learn how to put makeup on. This old, I just started to wear it, and I wanted to look pretty for you guys and gals. Because we got to, you know, look good for them. Otherwise, they don't know what to do. But anyway, I'm out on the golf, riding, walking. I don't get in the golf course, because they probably throw me out. And there's three and four people in a cart. No mask, no gloves. Now, I could see if there was one in one. But all these, I don't know what's coming. I just don't understand. Aww. Remember when guys would go like that and you'd feel so good. But anyway, that's the past. For now. So, I was over at my friend's house today. And she made a real good lunch. Yep, she really did. And I don't know where this is going today, but I had a peaceful day. That's all I can say. It's always nice to have one once in a while. But just, I just can't understand golfers. I mean, they're out there every day. But I think what's funny as you can tell, you know, I'm in Arizona here, and the people from the north come down, and they're in shorts, and the locals, when it gets 75 or 70, they're in long johns, coats, and hats. So I look out my balcony, and I see all the, I can tell where everybody come from. What's it like in your area, huh? Anyway, tomorrow is Friday. Yeah, I'm doing this Thursday night instead of in the morning. I'm going to just work around here. You know, someone's got a vacuum. Someone's going to clean the toilets. When I get my million, I'm going to get a housekeeper. Isn't that everyone's thing? Well, I have a letter, and I'm sure that a lot of you women can relate to this one, because this is from No Satisfaction Molly. She says, Dear Flossie, Leroy, her husband, doesn't have any sex drive anymore. He'd rather watch sports. Then play around with her. I bought expensive lingerie, she said. Even tried one of those lacy thong things. Someone told me that they were a floss. Or you know what. Anyway, nothing. So what do I do? Please help me. Well, Molly, the first thing you did was just make those lingerie people rich. Man, don't you know the, the, the sexiest organ of the brain is? It's your mind. So you got to play a little game here. I want you to ask Leroy to take him to the next game. Say, I really want to come and spend time with you, honey. So you do that. Then when you get in the car and almost there, you say, oh, I forgot my underwear. 
Yeah. And then when you get there, you know, he'll mom say, do you want to go back and get it? Say, oh, no, I'll be okay. I'll be okay. Yeah, I'll be okay. So when he's there and you're sitting there watching the game, just make sure you get up and put your hands on your hip, you know, and kind of give them the hoops and let them know what you're thinking. And if that doesn't work, his mind is going the whole time. Yep, I threw in my bloomers a long time ago because you know what it feels like when, when you walk in a dress? Let me tell you, lady, you ought to try it. You might get excited, too. So, I am going on a little trip one day. Whenever they get this thing straightened out, it's a mess right now. I even went online. You can't even get a plane out of here. I think everybody's hoarding those, too. Just like they've poured everything else. So I hope you people will see what's going on Monday. Oh, you know what, my friend? You know the neighbor over there that I told you once always wants me to come out and have a drink? Remember him? His name's George. George. Anyway, you know what he told me last night? He told me my hair was a mess, and he and he says he knows us women can't get to the to the beauty shop, but he said he's coming over this weekend and straighten it out for me. So I don't know; it might be interesting weekend. I'll let you know what it looks like Monday. Have a great weekend, and God bless you. And. I, you know what I told you before, when I get tired of this thing, all I got to do is 